Dr. Clay. Johnny, <laughs> nice to see you. What brings you here? Oh, I was just picking up my mom's brushes. I figure someone would want them. Maybe at the local art center. I thought about putting them at the grave, and then I think about them sitting on the elements. I understand. I'm sure you'll find a great home for them. I sure hope so. Otherwise, her ghost will probably come back, and I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> she really loved her paintings. Yeah, it kept. Sorry, I was going to say sane, but that seems like a poor choice of words. You know, it may not be much consolation, but she was doing much better by the time she came to her end. She even attended a couple group sessions, and she was making some real progress. All I care about was that she was happy. I really think she was. It may sound strange, but I've seen it before in other patients. Sometimes when they feel the end is near, they really come to terms with their lives and their illnesses. I think she was right. Thank you. Of course. What about you, though? <laughs> she never stopped talking about you. I'm not sure a day went by in the last couple months that I didn't hear about how well you were doing at school. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, things are going well enough. <laughs> is that it? Your mom made it seem like you were already making the greatest archaeological discoveries of the century? That sounds like her interpretation of I got an A on last week's test. I mean, class is going well. I like the work, and I'm good at it. Digging up stuff, finding new discoveries, just learning in general. Of course, I'm missing those classes right now. I'm sure your teachers will understand. Yeah, they do, they do. But depending on how long I'm stuck here, I may have to end up retaking this whole semester. But that's stressful. Yeah, so I really wanted to get back as soon as possible, but I heard some people from the Arts Center wanted to do a memorial service of some of her works, and they wanted me to be here, which can take as long as a week, and I was so busy whenever I left, I forgot to... I'm sorry, I don't mean to complain, it's just, it's hey, a lot. Hearing people complain is part of my job, and I feel like you probably deserve it. You know, you've got a lot going on, and if you ever need to talk, I won't have to commit myself, will I? <laughs> I figure I can make an exception. Don't let your family get locked up. Don't listen to their comforting lies. This is not a place of treatment. It's a place they go to die. What the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry you have to hear this. These doctors don't know how to help your family. In fact, they don't even care. They're here to get paid to run chemical experiments on your loved ones. These so-called doctors are nothing but wolves in sheep's clothing. Don't be fooled. They take your tax dollars and they use them to give unproven drugs to your family members just to see what happens. I'm sorry, Johnny. Uh, you should probably go. Sometimes she stays here for hours. Can you do something about this? No. I talked to the sheriff, but he said as long as she stays over there. Have you ever met anyone who was actually cured here? No, of course not. The people here only treat their patients, a word they use to describe forcing their victims to become addicted to dangerous, mind-altering drugs. You there, has this man actually cured your loved one? Are they any better now than when they came here? I don't think yes. that, please, leave him alone. He's just experienced a traumatic- Sir, experience. I'm using my freedom of speech. You have no right I to- I am aware of that, but I am asking you- You can ask me all you like, but I'm currently not speaking with you. I'm speaking with this I gentleman. I realize, but please, try and be- My mother just died, you bitch! I'm sorry to hear that. Another sad victim of these government-funded criminal misdeeds. You honestly believe that you Yes, I do! Don't you? After having these people torture and manipulate your mother for God knows how long. Separated from you, the rest of your family, everyone who loved her. She needed help. She could barely even function. She... Maybe so. Maybe she did need help. But have you considered that maybe the person she needed help from was you? And instead, you dumped her in this cold, lifeless prison to be poisoned. I didn't abandon my mother. Whatever you have to tell yourself. But deep down, you know it. Your mother was alive when you put her in here, and now she's not. That seems pretty obvious to me. Now you listen here. I respect this country, and I respect your right to say whatever you want to say, but listen to me right now. This boy is a good, kind artist who just suffered an extreme loss, and I will not sit idly by while you attack and harass him. His mother was a lovely woman who came to us at a very rough point in her life and his. I spent years 
doing everything in my power to help put her life back together. And you know what? In the end, she had regained much of who she was. So I find your beliefs to be not only woefully incorrect, but dangerous. You stand out here every day trying to keep, keep people from the only help that's out there for them. And frankly, I'm disgusted. And one of these days, you're going to get what's coming to you. Come on, Johnny, I'll walk you through the car. I won't let your lies get to me. I see through you. I won't let you confuse these innocent people. You're the dangerous one, and the side of truth will always win. I was just getting ready to head home. Well, it's pretty late. Can it wait until morning? All right, okay. No, 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 I understand, it's fine. Yeah, I'll tell the janitor I'm staying a bit longer and he'll leave his alarm off. Yes, okay, yeah, see you soon. Goodbye. Hey, Johnny, what's up? Okay, uh, thanks for seeing me. I just really needed to talk to you. I need to, I need to ask you for yeah. help for something that's going on. Of course, on. yeah. What? That's what I'm here for. What's going on? Well, I mean, this is uh, it's kind of a big deal, so I need you to stay calm when I tell you, okay? All right. I hope everything's okay. It will be, as long as you promise to help me. I killed that woman we met this morning. You, you don't really mean? Yeah, yeah, I do. She's dead, and I, I killed her. <laughs> Jesus, Johnny, why would you do that? I didn't intend to. I really, I promise. At first, I just wanted to talk to her. I had to convince her that she was wrong. Johnny, you should have let it go. I know she was terrible, but she. Didn't you said deserve... it yourself. She was dangerous. How many people lost friends or or family members they cared about because? How many people lost themselves? Johnny, you don't get to decide who lives and who dies. Uh, You're not. I, I, I knew you would freak out, but I, mean, I thought you would understand. Johnny. Johnny, you have to turn yourself around. No, no, I'm not going to do that. I didn't do anything wrong. Please, I can testify. I'm sure the judge will take into account your mother. You could plead temporary. No, I'm not insane. I'm not judging you. Perfectly understandable. Anyone in your I'm not. I'm not. I'm perfectly capable of understanding what's going on. I'm crystal clear. I knew what I was doing. I knew the ramifications. I knew what could happen. That's why I came here. If you I knew, need your help. If you knew what you were doing, then why would you do it? I know you, Johnny. You wouldn't hurt a fly. I did it because it was the right thing to do. See, that's not obviously not. A do story. you remember how my mom was when she transferred here? Yes, of course I remember. Do you remember how I was? Yes. That's not something I'll ever forget. How was I? I thought you had worked through all this. I, I was starving. The doctor said I was only a week or so away from death because my mom was too scared to go out and get food. Yes, I know. What if my mom hadn't managed to pick up that phone to make just one call to your institution? I wouldn't be here right now. Yes. But she did, and you are here, and you chose to end the life of another woman. You killed someone. You didn't save anyone. You don't know that. In one action, I've managed to get vengeance for all those she's hurt, and I've stopped her from preventing people like me from being saved. It's not that simple. It's not just a numbers game. It is. It is just that simple. Humanity has always got rid of the people who were a threat to others' safety. When the world was a bigger place, we could exile them from society, but I don't have the power to do that. I do have the power to remove her. But society hasn't given you the power to make that choice. You're a criminal making your own rules and calling it justice. So you honestly don't believe that the world is a better place with her gone? I believe the world is going to be a worse place with you in jail because you committed murder. Well, if you would just fucking help me, then I wouldn't end up jail. You keep saying that. Like, how could I possibly help? I'm not going to help bury the body of some poor girl in the woods somewhere. 
Oh, I already took care of all that. <laughs> I, I just need to know, if anyone comes to you asking where I was tonight, you will say I was here. That I was really upset about my mother and what happened earlier, and I needed to talk to you. I can't do that, Johnny. I can't lie like that. If they caught me, I'd lose my license, my job, I'd go to jail too. But they won't catch you. I promise, I've taken care of everything. How? How what? How have you taken care of everything? <sighs> well, after that all happened, I knew the first thing I had to do was get rid of the body. There was no way that that was gonna look like an accident, so I dragged her outside, and then you were a car. And I drove into the woods south, on the far side of the river. I parked next, park next to the biggest patch of Indian grass I could find. I, what did you do? I burned her body. <coughs> oh my god, how? I, how did you do it? This and a lighter. It took a long time. <laughs> Man, who are you? The kid I knew? The one that wrote his mom every month and signed them all with a heart? The kid who dreamed of being an archaeologist like Indiana Jones? You're not some man who burns corpses out on the field. That was a human being. She had a family. A mother and a father. Maybe even siblings. Who, if your plan succeeds, will never know what happened to the little and why should her family matter more than all of the families of all the people who took her message and were destroyed? Because hers are certain and yours are hypothetical. <laughs> Not necessarily. Maybe her parents thought she was a bitch too. <sighs> I have to pee. Can I trust that you won't call the cops while I'm using the restroom? You're drinking. Only a little. This bottle is empty. Well, I've had that for a while. And you chose to pack it for this trip? I'm surprised you even have room for clothes. It's not that big of a deal. This was in your bag. This is the definition of a big deal. When did this even start? A few months ago. At this rate? You know, I thought you of all people would know better Stop than it. what happened. Stop it. I know. Obviously you don't. Be honest with me. Or there is zero chance that I will help you. How much have you had to drink? I was really upset, okay? After that, after that shit she said to me, I didn't deserve that. I loved my mother. How much, Johnny? Like, maybe a fourth of that? Are you kidding me? How are you even walking right now? I don't get drunk that easy anymore. Plus, I started right after the fight, so it's been a while. You started drinking at 10 in the morning. And you thought this wasn't a big deal? I think it's irrelevant. You think you being under the influence of alcohol and showing self-destructive behavior leading up to the murder of a woman is irrelevant. I wasn't drunk when it happened. I was totally sober. This is starting to remind me a lot of someone. I am not. It's the same symptoms. I am not. My mother, I'm not insane. Nothing to be ashamed of, Johnny. I told you a million times. You're trouble. It's okay.
We can work through this. We will turn you in and get you admitted through all of this. The last time, I'm not out of my mind. I did what I did because it makes sense. You know that. You've all but admitted to it. Pick one thing. Pick one single thing out of everything I've said that doesn't make sense. Name anything that I did that doesn't make sense. Something I didn't explain. Tell me why what I did was wrong. Ask me the questions. What questions? The ones to test mental competency. You've done it before with mom. When you've determined that she had to be institutionalized, ask me. I will, I will prove to you that I did the right thing. Because I know you believe that I'm, what I'm saying, even if you won't admit it, you're just protecting yourself from admitting it because by pretending that I'm some dangerous lunatic. You're not That's, a so, so let me prove it. You realize that if I prove you're competent and I do turn you in, you'll have no possible defense. Yes, yes, I know that. And you still want to do this? Yes. What is your name? Johnny LaCroix. Are you prepared to answer any questions I ask honestly? Yes. Never. Okay. Is that it? No, there's one more. Well, go ahead. How did it happen? I drove to her place. I looked up her name on one of those online search things. She was the only one in town. I was pretty pissed when I showed up. I just wanted her to convince her to see the right side of things, to tell her my story, but it all went sour. You again? What the hell do you want? I just wanted to talk to you. I really think I can show you why it's important to get professional help for mental illness, okay? Can I come in, please? This is a stupid idea, but yeah, sure. Don't try anything. I have a gun and I know how to use it. Thank you. So, okay, um, I, sorry, I'm totally lying. <laughs> stumbling through this. I've heard this like four days. All right. So, as you figured out, my mom got admitted into the institution when I was quite a bit younger. Yes, I got that. Well, when I was growing up, she was a painter. She was probably like the best mom anyone ever had when I was really little. But then at some point, something just, just broke inside her. She didn't want to talk to anyone, see anyone. I don't. I remember she would she would take shots just to get the courage to go outside. I was too young to understand all that at the time. Yeah, I get all that. Do you? Because I really don't think you do, unless you've been in that. I have. My grandpa. He and my grandmother raised me. He had early onset dementia. It got very severe. And it scared the crap out of me. Well, then why do you... Because I realized that relief I felt when we sent him away was wrong. That was a man who loved and cared about me, and I sent him off to be someone else's problem. Well, that's not fair. Even... If we wanted to take care of them when we were children, we'd be... Yes, but when I got older, <coughs> old enough to take him back and take care of him right, I didn't. It didn't even occur to me it wasn't even an option. Then he died. You know what killed him? I don't suppose it's too much to hope for old age? A death by natural causes doesn't create an activist. No. He was killed by his medicine. It caused a severe clot in his brain that led to a stroke. The doctor at the hospital said he was in a state of partial consciousness for 11 hours as his brain died from lack of blood. Damn. I'm sorry. But, but that's... No, I let that happen. I let them do that to him. 
I had to go back to that place to get his stuff, and you know what I saw when I got there? One tiny room in a closet of a bathroom. That's what he'd been living in for years with practically no visits from friends or loved ones. The orderlies didn't even know if he had friends. He was all alone, drugged up, and waiting to die. That's no way to live, so don't tell me you know better. Well, that's sad, but that's far from how it is for everyone. My mother- The fuck! Your mother, okay? She's not some special example of everything. Maybe your story is the exception, but you don't Mental know. Mental illness isn't some magical thing you can cure with love and happy thoughts. Yeah? Well, it can't be cured with your supposed medicine, either. Your mom is evidence enough of that, isn't she? My mom was getting better. She, she had so much progress. She was learning to talk to people again. Yeah? Who told you that? The doctor? Or did you see it yourself? Did you actually come visit her? I wrote her. So you didn't see her? I tried when I could. But you never saw her get I, better. I tried. I did my You're best. You're just like me. You put them in a prison and left. You didn't care enough to do the right thing. I did the right thing. I got her help. And that help killed her. How can you be this blind, this stupid? Shut the hell up! You're the asshole denying the fact he murdered his own mother! I was standing there. Just looking down at her. Thinking about everything she said. I knew there was no way I could leave it all at like that. She was too dangerous. She, she could hurt a lot of people. Passionate people can change a lot. I couldn't let her go spreading those ideas. They had to die with her. So I went to the kitchen, grabbed a knife, pushed it in her heart. You know everything from there on. Yeah. still have this. Wasn't this here the first time I was here? Except it was, it was over there, right? You never live it. Yeah, I couldn't stand the thought of it being gone. You know who gave it? That's not important now. Um, I don't think what you did tonight was right. But I don't think you were wrong. There are some ideas that are dangerous, wrong, terrible even, and the ones you planted in me tonight might be among them. It's a good thing that you've been here all night. So I'm glad we could talk about this and Stop you from doing anything crazy. Good evening, Dr. Clark. Good evening, officer. What's going on? Well, we're doing sort of an impromptu search. You haven't seen Johnny McCroy this evening, have you? Oh, no, I've not seen him. All right. Oh, shoot. Uh, you don't have any idea where he could be? Our last week said he came here this morning and would you be his mom's doctor and all? Oh, that Johnny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so he was actually here earlier. Uh, he was pretty upset about his mother and everything, so we talked about it. Is everything all right, doctor? Yes, yes. Everything is fine. I'm just tired, been here later than usual. Burning the candle at both ends, huh? Well. Your patients are lucky to have someone who cares so much. Um, you don't mind me asking? Why are you looking for Mr. LaCroix? Oh, well, uh, his psychiatrist called because she was worried that he hadn't called her something about forgetting his medication at home. But if he talked with you, I'm sure he's doing fine. We'll keep an eye on stuff and look out for anything weird. All right. Thank you, officer. You have a good night. Drive safe on your way home. You know, they say driving tired can be as bad as driving drunk. You're on medication. <coughs> now, can 
why did she just say that? She has no reason to lie about that. I've been prescribed medication. But you're not taking it. You tested me. I'm fine. I'm totally present. I'm lucid. You never said you were seeing a psychiatrist? Who isn't these days? What did she diagnose you as? Doesn't matter. I've proven to you that I'm fine. Thanks for covering for me, by the way. You're an awful liar, but I think... What about your clothes? What about my clothes? Why aren't there any blood stains? I, I changed clothes, of course. I'm not going to walk around in blood-soaked clothes. What did you do with the other pair? I burned them with the body. Why does that... Why does that matter? How did you get back to town? I walked. I... You walked back to town naked in November. I... What was she wearing? It was... Gr you green? can't remember. No, I, I can't, it's just... What 